everybody, this is Lady Red 2771, and how are you guys doing today? I am doing great, and I hope that you are too. Um, I just wanted to do this video really quickly. I was actually supposed to do it like last week, but so much has been going on, and I just didn't have the time to do it. Basically, this video is to let you guys know the protective style that I am doing, and this protective style came about because... I started doing P90X last week and my arms were hurting so bad I couldn't do my hair. So I decided that I would pull out a wig and I would wear that for a while to give, um, just leave my hair alone and not have to fuss with it and it would give me the opportunity and stuff to protect my hair. The wig that I'm wearing is by the Champagne Collection and her name is Rachel. And I love Rachel because she's big, she's boofy, and um, this is exactly how I would want my hair to grow, my natural hair to grow out too. And this is the goal that I'm going for. Um, some people are going for a lot of length. Um, some people are going for, I mean, just different things. Um, if I can get my hair to grow out like this, um, I would be very happy. And um, this is the back over. I hope she's not looking too crazy, but that's the back. So yeah, um, I love this wig, um, it's not heavy, it's, it's light, and again, it's everything that I would really want my hair to be, this big and, and everything. Um, I, this is a number four, but I did purchase her in a 42730, so it's a really nice color, and I think that I'll probably um, try to wear that one, that color, uh, probably more towards the summer if I'm still doing it, and, and I don't even know because if it's hot, you know, I definitely don't want to try to fight with a wig, but who knows, you know. Um, this is just very convenient for me right now and stuff because, again, I'm working out every day. Um, I'm working on my business, getting it up and running, and so I'm just really busy. So it is so convenient for me to pl uh, braid my hair down or twist it and, and kind of wear my wig and go. So this actually has, you know, working out and stuff and pulling the wigs back out ha actually has been a blessing. I wanted to do the fluffy twist, but I just have not had the time. Between my husband coming home, going on vacation, coming back, trying to get the business together, homeschooling my son, starting a new workout program, it has just been so much going on. So I just haven't had the time to really do the fluffy twist. And... Every time I say I'm going to do it this weekend, something comes up that I just don't get the opportunity to do it. So, the wigs are for right now. If I do get a chance to sit down and do the fluffy twist, I definitely will. Or I was even thinking that maybe I would go and let someone else do it, you know. But, you know, I hate paying someone to do something that I can do. I just don't have the time. And sometimes it comes to that, just paying someone to do it. So, I'm still doing the same regiment. I am co-washing my hair every week, and then, of course, you know, moisturizing, leave-in conditioner, um, all of that. It is probably due time for me to do a deep condition, which I'll probably do this Sunday, And um, but everything else is pretty much the same. I'm still using the same product, still loving the same product, and yeah, so everything is going pretty good. I can tell that my hair is, is definitely growing. And I think the more I leave it alone and stuff, probably the more that it will grow. So, yeah. Um, no more itchy scalp. So, I definitely think that it was the Dr. Bronner's um, peppermint soap that was kind of making, you know, making my scalp itch. Like I said, everything is not for everybody. I still love it. Um, I love, you know, I love the products and everything, but I just think that my scalp was really sensitive to it and it just wasn't working for me. So, um, but the itching is gone. Uh, let's see, what else? Yeah, I, again, this is my protective stuff for right now. I don't know how long I'll wear this this wig. Uh, let's see. I had said that I was probably going to wear this protective style for the whole duration that I'm doing P90X. The only way that I will change from wearing the wig is if I do the fluffy twist. If I do the fluffy twist, then that will be my protective style. But I know that I need to do protective styles for this whole time that I'm doing P90X because on Sunday, that is my rest day. And even though that's my rest day, I don't rest on that day. I actually do 
do exercises on that day, but just so busy and stuff. And, you know, all I want to do on Sundays is have to wash it and, you know, put it back up. That's it. Or, you know, if I had to twist it, that would be, I guess, even more convenient because I wouldn't even have to worry about taking it down. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to quickly share with you my protective style. And I've been wearing this for just about a week now. Just a week. So, uh, I'm probably going to try and do it for another two, three weeks. I'm wearing the wig. And then try maybe to think of something else to do or just keep wearing the wig. Who knows? But anyway, you guys, Rachel, number four, and she is by the Champagne Collection. And um, you guys remember her. April actually um, did a review on this. She came from Rocky Trading Company. But, she, I mean, she's also on, on Illustrious Hair Boutique. So if you want to go there and get her, you can. But I got mine from Rocky Trading because it was cheaper. Um, 19, 1995. So, yeah. I'm, you know, and I think on Illustrious Hair Boutique, she was like 60-something, I think. So, you know, it's your choice, you know, where you go to get it and stuff. But that's where I got mine from. Because I ordered more wigs. I ordered like five or six wigs at one time. So, yeah. And um, the one thing that I have noticed about her, if you pick her, she's going to get bigger and bigger and, and I think more frizzier. Um, I haven't put anything on her. And basically all I do is when I took her out, I put her on. I cut the lace off. And I put her on and I just shook my head. And however she failed, that's how I kind of left her. So I didn't do a lot of picking and, and messing with her. I haven't put any products on her. So, yeah, so this is how she, you know, she looks and everything. So, yeah, guys. All right, that's it. That's all I have. And um, if I do the fluffy twist, I'll let you guys know. And uh, if I try the different color of Rachel, I'll let you guys know about that, too. And if anything changes, I'll share that with you. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.